Welcome everyone to another week of Better Together VR. Sorry we're a little late today. I have some new things happening with me. It's... New things? Ah! Uh, <laughs> 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 I got dun, 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 full body track. That's it. Lift those leggies. I can be a groovy <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> That's so amazing. I love that dance. <laughs> Do, do, do. Oh, and just in time do, 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 do. for nature stream. Because what better nature than stream. to be in full body tracking in a hot dog's natural habitat? VR chat. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're looking at nature, eh, hey, Dylan? Oh, or we're scared. Uh, yeah, who's, Scout who's to, to put this one together. Thanks, so yeah, this, this was a team effort. I think most of the worlds um, were collected by Dylan. However, I, we have one world today that was a recommendation from a friend that I'm really looking forward to showing you. Um, and then I went into them all and, and kind of picked out some, some ones that I thought would be really good for the stream. And we're starting out here uh, in a Just world in called The Conservatory by Toad Storm. T-O-A-D-S-T-O-R-M. And I'm just gonna quickly check um, if, if this world ah it is quest compatible. Oh yes. nice. Ooh. That's good. So yeah, so this one is described as a private Victorian garden on a rainy autumn day. Features customizable rain and ambience, optional pens, a chessboard, and a few secrets. Update: You can now pour tea. Oh. So yeah, this world has some really pour tea. fun stuff in it. So first off, uh, I think, I don't have this dream on my hand right now, but I think John has the mirror turned on behind us. Is that no, correct? No, it's not. So, oh, oh, I thought you oh. did. Oh, can it you turn is it the, on? Uh, sorry, it's the transparent mirror, the transparent. but the camera is too oh, yeah, far yeah. away. Oh, the camera's to... not showing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here, can you bring it I'll over show here? you. Yeah, yeah. That's probably, so check this out. So we've got, they've got a very nice setup in here where you can turn on mirrors if you want. And um, you can have a full mirror that's like perfect reflection, but if you turn on this transparent mirror, it really looks like a window reflection. And I just thought that was so nice. Um, and they've got one on this end and then one on the other end. Um, so if you're just sitting with your friends and you need the VR chat mirror, um, but you also want to enjoy the beautiful uh, tea house scenery, then you can do that. So, um, and we also wanted to show you what they were talking about, the customizable rain. Um, so over here, oh. on the rain intensity, you'll have to try this. John, do you have your world volume on? Probably. I, I do. And I have the rain intensity and the thunder so, on. Oh, nice. So if you change this rain intensity, we're not quite sure how they're pulling this off, but it actually changes um, the sound of the rain, how many drops seem to be falling. Oh. Which is so really it's, neat. Oh, I thought it would just be volume, but it's... Frequency. Yeah. I got. I got to see if I can change this. Okay. Yeah. So if you turn off the thunder and then try changing the rain intensity just so you can hear it better, it's pretty neat actually. I'm gonna turn up my world volume so make it a little bit more noticeable. Okay. So yeah, it's very infrequent rain. Now we'll turn it up. Look at that. So we're not sure if they're blending between two audio files or if it's like a procedural thing. Um, we were just discussing this before the stream started, but whatever it is, I think it's great. Uh, we thought it would just be volume, but it is not. It is in fact the number of drops. I am hearing different so yeah, drop sounds. So there might be a mm -hmm. set of yeah. like three or four that then they play in sequence and repeatedly. Well, yeah, and they right. sound like yeah. they're hitting If it's procedural, yeah. Drops. Yeah, it's so neat. I don't know. I really like it. You can have your perfect rain setting. Can't do that in real life. Can't choose how hard it's raining, but in VR chat, <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. So come on in here. Let's, uh, oh, go ahead. So, yeah, before we get any further, I just want to jump into the chats here. So, yeah, we've got uh, Joey J. Rue is in the chats. Hello. Hey, hey. Um, Joey says, hi, you three wonderful peeps. How's it going? It looks stunning. Right. Yeah. 
Thanks for joining us. Hello. Um, and Juice is also in the chats and says, howdy, folks. Hey, hey, hey Juice. <laughs> um, so, like, I finally put two and two together. I just want to mention this very quickly. I finally put two and two together and realized that Joey J. Rue in our chats right now is the same person who did a video for uh, the last Pluralities. What was that called? Like the community videos or something? Oh, oh really? Like showcase, I think? Yeah, and it was hilarious. Um, so it, it was it was just a whole video about um, kind of musing about the experience of gravity in VR chat and how it can be quite unpredictable um, <laughs> yep. whether things objects will do things or not yeah and it had this great like nice. kind of philosophical voiceover we cracked up. yep oh, oh my gosh, gosh. it's so yeah. good yeah i was dying <laughs> Love it. well done beautiful yep. work <laughs> joey says That's i didn't realize your hoodie twinkled yeah and it's audio uh, link reactive and audio link yeah i like twinkling i like glitter <laughs> and uh and also says oh you saw it blush 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're I we like it. ferality. So good. Oh yeah, last one was amazing. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Every ferality, it's like they must be so tired from trying to top themselves because every time <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> well, let's go see some more of this place. Okay. Yeah, come come look around in here. So, um, so I just like, like I know that textures are a thing, but like look at the wet spots on the floor. Like there's wow. these beautiful oh, wow. wet spots the on the tile. Too? Yeah, it's so neat. And then there's these beautiful fish swimming around. These really nice koi in here. Um, in the fish pond. And oh, I don't know, nice. they're just just so well done. Makes me wonder actually if the fish are actually there or if it's part of a top shader. Nope, they're there. Okay. <laughs> that would be a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck I stuck my head in the water, but they're actually there. Yep, they're 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 there in the So what I love about this world too is like clearly maybe I am a little large for this world. But you know what? That's great. I think it's lovely to have worlds that are set up for smaller avatars. Oh yes. Sometimes they feel like everything is too big. Um and we've got this lovely uh Oh wait, look here, at that pour. Which I assume is for pouring tea. And I, I don't know exactly how this works. Oop, apparently I can pour through the cup. Uh but can I? Ah, can I do this? We need to water the skate. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a really tiny. Oh, too small. Dylan. <laughs> Thought I'd try oh my to gosh. see if I could fit, but I'm too small now. Okay, so now if you use play space mover, you, you could stand on a stool. Or just on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good height, actually. There we go. Look how tiny. Oh my goodness. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, there's nothing in it yet. Okay. We're just going to oh. pretend that tea <laughs> is, is filling the cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Mm. Mm. So good. Well, this has to be a short. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> You're so cute at that size. Oh my gosh. You're like perfect for this garden. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, what else is in here? I don't know, I just, I really thought the plants in here were awfully nice. Like, aren't these called pitcher plants or something? These ones yes, that, like, they are. are bad mm. news if you're a bug. Yeah. You yeah, particularly so. know them if yeah, you play think... Final Fantasy VII. Ah. <laughs> Dylan is jingling very nicely. Hey, Dylan, do you want to play chess? Oh, there's a chessboard. Nice. Let me see if I can get shorter too. Okay. I'm gonna have to stand on the table. I actually don't know how to play chess very well. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I just wanted to see uh, how the chess pieces work. Oh, John, you'll love these. Look, oh, look and the that drop. Gravity. That's a good drop too. Where it's not just immediate, where they can tip. It's a nice slow fall. I like that. John's a bit of a snob when it comes to the, the chess. I don't like it when they stand in midair. I prefer the pieces to fall. 
but sometimes when they fall they easily tip over and get out of place but this is a good good dynamic i love that i'm terribly playing this wrong but i i find this quite well done oh but look at that okay so you can't accidentally put the pieces on top of each other so that's great they collide with the chessboard but not with each other oh nice oh. I really like those. Those are very nice. Dylan, you're so little. And you have these starry <laughs> eyes. I feel bad beating you at chess. Oh my. <laughs> starry eyes surprise. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Winning with cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess this button must be a reset button or something. Let's see if I can use it. Ugh. Yep. Yeah, there mm -hmm. we go. Don't even have to put it away. Nice. <laughs> Joey's uh, got some more comments in the chat so it's, uh, about the puddles. It really makes a difference. It's, it makes a huge difference having the puddles just give off a natural looking reflection. Yeah, it really adds to the reality. Um, <laughs> and uh, oh, yes, yeah, an important collider to do in chess for sure. Yeah. It's one of those things we just feel like we have to try out in every world, the, the chess board, to see, the, is, it, is, it, is it John approved? And this one is definitely John oh, approved. <laughs> so come check out this last area. Ah, oh, the West I Drawing I Dylan jingles, it's so fun. Cats. <laughs> Oh, cats! Yes! On the walls. Oh, uh, I guess this is the tea you're supposed to pour. Oh. I'm oh. silly. Okay. John, look at this. This is so great. Oh my. Do that okay. again. Okay, watch. Watch. So, so teapot, and then as you pour, it actually starts steaming. Oh, wow. And the tea, the tea actually It's got such fills. a nice, like, smooth fill it's rate. It's so nice. That is impressive. Yeah. Check out the way the smoke, uh, or not the smoke, the steam um, <laughs> comes off of it when you're pouring. Can you show one more but time? But then it the like steam? goes away. I'm just dumping it on the floor first. Okay, is everyone ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. That, that looks that's like a good such steam. a satisfying cup of tea. And then you can you can actually pick it up with the saucer, which is very <laughs> nice if you really would like to do it properly. And if you just pick it up, you can drink it like this, and it disappears. <laughs> do you guys remember those like toys that they had when we were really little that were like the babies, and then they yep. had the bottle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they would make it so that the liquid inside would disappear as you tipped it. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. It's so funny. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed by that tea, and I, I am sorry for showing the tea wrong earlier. I clearly did not understand the difference between a watering can and a teapot. <laughs> So that tells you about my gardening experience. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you two enjoy the ambiance in here. Maybe show the night mode and, and, and stuff. Yeah, and I'll, let's uh, go check that out. Ready to the next world. So if we turn on night mode, I'll turn the thunder back on too. So not full night, but night enough. It's like someone turned out the lights at like six o'clock in the evening when it's raining. You enjoying the jingles there, Dylan? Yes. I haven't been this avatar for quite a while. Yeah, you're a little early in the year. Sometimes it's... Yeah. <laughs> I think as soon as fall starts to hit, I just like, I go straight into like, all right, I'm ready. No. First, it's so you stop it. Halloween and spookality. <laughs> uh, but it is true. Spookality is coming up. I believe it's starting towards October 1st. Um, for when the worlds have to be submitted. And then we can go into them. And then it will last for the month of October. I wonder if this music is safe. 
I definitely did not warn you about it, so I apologize. Um, it, do you maybe know? let's turn it off for now. Let's turn off the world sounds for now. Okay. But if I see anything about it, I will advise. Because it's very nice music, but at least the stream could hear it briefly. John has full body, and it's so uh. fun. He can just, he just looks different. Uh. He can do so many things. Look at my hair. I can. All right. Look at my <laughs> hair. I can whip my hair now. I whip my hair back and forth. I'm just going to turn my world volume down a little bit so that I can talk a bit better. All right. So, um, this was the world that was recommended to us to check out by a friend. And that friend was Joe Hunting, the director of We Met in Virtual Reality. And he sent me this world a while ago and said um, that we might really enjoy it um, because it's really fun and cute. And there's an activity to do in here, which <gasps> I will show you shortly. Ooh, I yeah. Like my activities. And the world is called Polygonia Forest of Amshinogi. And I'm probably really not saying that correctly. Maybe if Dylan wants to pitch in on <laughs> how to pronounce that. And it's by <laughs> Shrimp Frog. That's S -H pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Yeah, Ame Shinogi. Ame Shinogi. Oh, is it in the uh, katakana? I... Uh, no, in, in No, I'm not that good. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the name the name includes katakana, which um ana anago. That's yeah. what that's okay. Anago. Hmm. anago. Shrimp frog. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, shrimp frog I've made this. It is adorable, and I cannot wait to show you guys around. It's um, very cute. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I changed avatars because I thought this color combination would, would would go better with the world. It's very nice. Yes, you matching is important. Um, and this <laughs> world is both Quest and PC compatible. Um, so nice. if you're a Excellent. Quest user, this is a really good one to come check out. So first off, we got to go in the shed and look around the the building. And I'll explain uh, what we do here. <laughs> so we oh. do have a note about the world music, but I don't know um, if it's safe for stream. So we're just going to keep that off for now. But it's just this kind of really cute, happy music that you may have heard at the beginning there. Um, and over here on the table, we have what appears to be some really cute little camera and maybe a little uh, a little tablet or something and i noticed that you can click on these little boxes to change the the skin of the camera oh neat um yeah which is so cute and behind dylan there and john there's a sign that says research the world with like a little creature with a camera oh that was that's so, so cute. cute i'm not I, i'm really not surprised that Joe thought we would like this world. He was totally <laughs> correct. Yep. So I think the camera is local, um, though I'm not 100% sure. So if you pick up your camera, I'm guessing it doesn't pick it up for me. That's correct. Oh, so, yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. So too. you can pick whichever skin you'd like. Um, they're all very cute. This world is just like so much cute design everywhere. Oh, I can't even decide which camera I want. Maybe this one today. <laughs> so do I have to pick up the camera? Oh, the skins are actually the faces of the characters. I get it now. Oh, they, they're very sweet. <laughs> and then there's a whole thing of instructions here, um, which I cannot read. Um, but this world is very well made, and you don't necessarily need to be able to read these instructions to kind of understand uh, what you need to do. Um, but I assume they're explaining about how the camera works. And there's a thing here that, that shows at the bottom corner of the camera, there's a little symbol for plants and a little symbol for animals. And if you're taking a picture of an animal or a plant that you're trying to research, you have to pick between animals and plants on the bottom of the camera for it to be able to, to go, hey, is this a new one? Um, or, sorry, can you guys see what I'm holding Your up? instructions no. are local, um, oh. so we don't know what you're pointing at. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> the, They're like, all in Japanese. Guys, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, basically, we're going to go around and look at some animals, and we try to photograph ones we haven't seen before. And we'll know we haven't seen them before because there's a little question mark 
uh, and it'll make a little noise. So. Oh, and okay. then we'll, we'll what's go this together. I'll show other you thing that one. follows? The tablet? Yeah. Oh, right. The tablet. Okay. It just follows me. So yeah, thankfully you don't. Book. And thankfully you don't have to hold it, but yeah, it says Polygonia Biological Picture Book. And if you grab it and then click on it with the trigger, it opens up this whole menu. Um, oh yeah. It shows plants and animals. I'm assuming. And if you click on animals, then it'll show you a bunch of empty slots. <laughs> I recognize the kanji uh, for dobutsu. Oh, do you? Nice. <laughs> the kanji for animals. <laughs> oh, perfect. So yeah, we, we're, we're basically going around and looking for plants and animals and photographing them. And thankfully, um, the tablet will just follow you around. If, you're, if you hold the camera and then release the camera, the tablet will, will show up right beside you. So how do you make the tablet you don't have to hold go it. down? Big yeah, button? you have to go back to the main area and then pull and then hold it and click the trigger. Oh, okay. There we go. Shrinks it. So we shrink it. Isn't this cute? This world's so cute. And we close it. Cool. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go take some pictures. <laughs> Joey says, thanks for holding the sheet up. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Good job, John. <laughs> thanks for holding it up. I'm like, I'm holding it up and no one can see. Not helping. John and I were both like not wanting to interrupt, I think, but it was like... Um, yeah. Scout. Yep. You gave a very yeah. nice explanation <laughs> of something we can't see. So everyone, grab your camera. I assume you both have it, even though I can't see. Ooh, birdies! There we go. Go for the birdies. Squirrel? <laughs> squirrel. Squirrels? Birds? Bird squirrel? Burl? <laughs> Squared? So Aww. when you hold the camera up to them, you should see a little question mark. Uh, I saw a, a stars. When I took it. Yep, that's great. Yeah. And then it says something mark, when you take oh, the photo. Oh, because I'm on plants. Perfect. Yeah, switch to... Oh, yeah. We got to switch okay. to the animal one. Perfect. I'm still not seeing a question mark. Maybe it's because I have it? Did you already take a photo of them? I think if you already took a photo, then you're good. Okay. And so and I don't know what it's saying. It's saying something to us when you take the photo, if, if you found a new animal. And from my incredibly limited understanding of Japanese, it sounds like, it sounds like they're saying arigato gozaimashita, but I don't know if that's correct. Oh, I'm not sure if that's... I can't hear that because like, I have my world volume down. I apologize. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to no, look around okay. and see if I can find anything to turn the, the world volume down. But yeah, see if you can find some more animals or plants. Let's and do this. Okay. Did did they go into your picture book? I don't know. Let's see. They didn't go in mine. Oh, they didn't go in for you, Dylan? Uh, I'm not seeing them no. in my plants, which is where I initially took them. So they should be in your animals because it knows it's an animal, but it may be on the second page. Oh. No, okay. I don't see them there. No. Oh. Okay. Mm. Hmm. This was working great earlier. What did we do? So you have to set your scanner to animal, right? Yeah. On the bottom. So I put the the middle of the frame oh, right on the. Oh, there it is. The Scan. I see it. Oh, perfect. Okay. Did I it show see. up for you now? Yep. The question mark is on the camera screen, and it's white. Yes, yes. Yeah. They already talked to me, but yeah, it didn't go in my thing. Yeah, I had to click, make sure animals was selected on the camera, Dylan. And, and then I had to get it right in the center of that kind of frame there. Um, and make sure it, it like did a little exclamation mark. Mm. Hmm. Let's keep going. It might yeah, start working. Try here. another. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. What's so this? There's a thing down here. Like I see something. There's a thing. Yeah. There's this thing underneath here. Oh. What is this? Ooh, this looks like that? a creature. Oh. Oh yeah. So I'm getting a little question mark when I hover over it. As a with my uh, camera. Do you guys get that? On the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And sorry, John. There's a really great UI Got noise it. that you're probably not hearing. Okay. It made the sound. Good. 
all I can say about what's being said is it oh, ends in I got it. Da, so you got mm -hmm. it good so yeah, the, the, basically we want to go around and try to photograph. There's a bunch of animals and a bunch of plants, and we want to try to photograph them all. So this is like so uh, Pokemon Snap, exploration, uh, find yeah, everything type of world. Yeah, I think so. Um, but also with the addition of plants being something you look for, uh, which I don't think there is in Pokemon Snap unless it's a plant Pokemon. Um, which is really cute. Oh, hey, is this a weird animal up here? Oh, here's a weird yeah. animal down here, too. There's a weird animal down here? Yes. A oh, pi pile. you're puddle. right. You're right, this puddle. This, this is an animal. Oh, there it goes. It's getting round and then flat. I see a burb. <laughs> is that a burb? So one thing that's like also really adorable is it once you find an animal, if you go into your picture book here and click on the the entry for that animal, um, okay. it like tells you a bunch of stuff about it. Eh? It, it tells you a bunch of stuff about it, and there's this like really beautiful, high quality like illustration of the animal too. Oh, yeah. um, like as if oh, it was a concept art for this game. It's really just just super, obviously a ton of work put into this. <laughs> so cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? It's not showing up. Uh, I got to turn on my on UI camera? layer. Do, do, do. There it is. There's the panel. I think I found a plant over here. Oh, neat. So you can see size and some stats. This is a, gr you know what? This is a great world to come and practice your Japanese, I think. Yeah? Because a lot of it is That's, in yeah. katakana or hiragana. And oh, nice. So it's easier like to here. like, if like, you're learning. Tsune ka. Nice. Uh, oh, I always forget which one this is. Is this jiri? Or zuri? So snake. <laughs> it's so so well done. <laughs> Make something. Dylan's off. Dylan's like I'm photographing everything. I'm I'm leaving you two behind. I, I always get my suit and she mixed up. Oh, this one's big. Oh. What is this? Is this like a toad bird? <laughs> When it says something, is it saying something about like scan? Like that's possible. That sounds l correct. Like scan or something. Tatsumasta. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds. That makes a lot more sense than. Thank you very much. <laughs> is it saying like? That almost sounds like you scanned me. Maybe yeah. Uh... Or scan complete or. Or like scan successful or something. Right. Look at these. Oh. Cute. Oh, these are things too. They're like little hedgehogs. They got little faces. You come over here. Oh, cool. Oh, wait. There's a little thing here. It was popping at the tree. Oh, is this a little, a oh. little bug? Something? It's a little oh, bug. Oh. oh yeah, it's a little bug. Oh my gosh, aren't you cute? Come <laughs> back. <laughs> I don't know if it's one of the ones we're supposed to. Yeah, find, it's not reacting. Oh, it reacted very, for me. Very cute. It reacted for me. Did it? Yep. You got a question mark? I got a question mark for it. Oh, I did from over here. Ah. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry that you have to have your volume off, John, because the UI sounds in here are really quite great. Oh, that's okay. Um, it, it's possible this, this music white might plant. be fine. I don't know. 
This is a plant blue plant too. Yeah. Oh, I need I need to grab my camera. Yeah, this one too. The music in here is really nice though. I, when we first came in and I was hearing it. <coughs> I feel it really suits. This plant. I'm not really getting the plants. I'm more so I'm seeing white wisps and I'm wondering if they're just particles or Oh, there's a bug up there too. I'm going to get you. Ah, come on. Jump. Oh, I can't get up there. How did you get up there? There we go. Got it. Oh, this is really cool. I like this. Oh, wow. And there's lots to to do and see. Look at that. a really great world for just like hanging out with your friends and like Ooh, there's another looking animal up oh here. dylan's that. excited they found something okay oh what the isn't it cute what are so you cute oh it gives off little shapes yeah oh yeah i love the subtle little animations on all these animals they're so great the the nice simplicity of the low poly polygonal aspects of it. Ah, <laughs> polygonal. Um, I'm really enjoying the aesthetic. It is really nice. It's beautiful in here. And even with all the extra interfaces we're carrying around and everything, I'm still getting quite a good frame rate uh, for me, um, which is really nice. Um, even though I've got this extra camera and like, yeah, all this stuff. Hmm. Ooh, what's this? Oh, Dylan found something. Oh, that's a very big plant. Does it count as yeah. plant or f flora or fauna? Or an animal? Yeah, a plant. Okay, well, let's change our camera to plant mode. Come on. Here we go. And we'll scan it. What part do you have to scan? I can't seem to, Everything in here is so cute. to find out how to scan it. I had some luck from here, John. Uh from where I am. But it did take me a second of moving it around to kind of get the right spot. Any luck there? No. Another one here. Uh, another plant. Do you get this one? This weird lollipop one? Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Everything in here is just so, like, carefully and thoughtfully designed. It's wonderful. I feel like you could make any of these little animals into plushies and people would be, like, <laughs> all about that. They're really cute. Oh, wow, Dylan's way over there. Come on. Mm. Come on. Well, I guess we'll take the actual path.
Oh, yeah, edge of the world. Where's Dylan? This tree is I one. For the... I don't know. This tree? Oh, there, there, there is a pond here. Nice. Oops, did I drop my camera? Oh, yeah. I did. Oh, a pond. I wonder if there's water? fish in there. I didn't see anything. I don't see anything. But we had to check. So there is a lot to find in here. The animals are, I think, are a little harder to find than the plants. But the fact <laughs> that there's descriptions for everything. Dylan, are you determined to try to win? <laughs> Maybe. Dylan's like, I'm going to try to catch them all, as it were. They wanna be the very best. <laughs> and we're gonna snap okay. you. Got you. Aha! It's ours now. Is that oh, a it's squirrel one of the up there? Things. Yeah, I think we got that one already. Oh, and here's one of those little unicorn puffer things. You got one, right? Already? Yeah. Oh, there's a mushroom on a oh, rock. This weird, this weird plant here. Oh, I like this one. Oh, there's a thing here. There's an the animal. Or is this... Oh, no, it's a shark bird. Is this the little shark guy that we got before? Or snake bird. Yeah, I think we yeah. got this one. A snake bird. It's cute, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aw. There's two of them just sitting in a tree. <laughs> so tiny. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a hedgehog. Oh, man, it's really hard to find all the animals, eh? Yeah. Oh, is that a slug? No. Okay. I thought that might have been a slug. <laughs> Me too. Or is. Huh. One thing I suppose we could be doing is like running around with the camera. Like on the right setting and attempting to have the camera help us find stuff. Yeah. Poses. Yeah. <laughs> I see Jenny is here. <gasps> hi, Jenny. Oh, Jenny's hi, here. Jenny. Jenny hey, hey. says, oh, this is the world Joe recommended. Yes, it is. It is the world Joe recommended. I wonder if Jenny's had a chance to come here yet. It's so much fun. It is a great world. We are enjoying it. Trying to find all the aminals. You're missing two plants, Dylan? Okay. <laughs> and lots of Do we have time to get them all? Did you get did you get this plant, Dylan? Okay. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny says hi friends. Hi Jenny. Hi Jenny. <laughs> I'm kinda surprised I haven't seen an animal like actually in a tree yet. Oh, I saw two of the squirrel the squirrel. Yeah, they were like resting. I saw them like in a low branch, but I kind of thought there might be something like high, like an actual bird or a monkey. Right. Oh, are these your plants? Oh, roses. <laughs> hey, there's a Do ladder. Do go far enough this way?
Aha. Huh. You got a good view <laughs> from up here. That's true. Oh, wait. There's an animal right there. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Or is it a sculpture or something? <laughs> or is it an animal wearing a ghost costume? We're on the other side of the house here. Oh, we're not sure if it's an it's animal, not though. It's getting detected. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jenny hasn't been here yet. <gasps> oh, oh we're, just, okay, Jenny. we're sneak peeking yeah. it then. Well, I feel like, is this a weird corner? Maybe we I already got it then. I've gotten a lot of them. Something is jumping over here. Uh, Dylan says they see something jumping. Oh, yeah. Flying. There's like a, a flying bee or something over there. What is that? Oh, this is a hard one to guess. Stay on target. See it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's in a different place for me, but I oh, think I got okay. it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sneaky. Sneaky. How am I doing? Did I get? I can't tell if I got it or not. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I got almost all the plants. Ah, I can't get this one. You could do it, John. I believe in you. This is what I get for trying to control two cameras. Just stay still. Got it. Okay. Now, where's my crew? <laughs> Crew? Oh, there's crew. Okay. So, yeah, huh. I just thought this world was, like, super, super fun. Well, Thank you very much, Joe, for recommending it for us. Because, uh, yeah, it, it was adorable and so well made and so great that it's quest-friendly as well. Um, I think people will really enjoy this. If you haven't come here yet, come visit. I think it's Very a great cool. simple world. Let's see what we caught. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got a good number of the aminals. Come on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're mi <laughs> we got, you know, uh so we're missing 7. And we got uh like 9. So it got a little bit more than half. Oh, there's the other bug. Oh, you found another bug? Yeah, right down here. You can see the like bug? a little part of it right there. Oh. There it is. Popping out oh, underneath? Thing. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Gosh, it's just as hard as real life. I don't <laughs> see it. Oh, there. This is on the wrong angle. Oh, is it going to find it? You guys ready to, to drop a portal to the next world? Or do you want me to wait for you, Dylan? To... <laughs> I want to find them all, but I know that it will take a long time. Oh, okay. So... We'll tell you what, we, we can always come back. Okay. Yeah, we can always come back. <laughs> okay. I need do seven a more run. animals. Oh, well, you did pretty well. I don't think we're going to find them today. Two more plants. All right. Well, come this way, friends. 
Oh. <laughs> On to the next world. Well, that was amazing. If any of you remember Pokemon Snap, you're you're just going around on this like roller coaster and trying to take pictures of Pokemon as you're going along. It's a very simple game that was very popular. Oh, oh, that camera is going a little funny. There we go. So this one, John, does have a background music volume control. Oh, excellent. So you can turn it off completely. Um, what One thing that's really nice is there are four different background musics in here. Um, so for folks uh, who kind of want to pick the vibe of the world, uh, the background music really adds a lot. Um, oh, nice. Beautiful. Um, and I just, I don't know if any of them are safe for streams, so we probably won't play any of them very long, but... Do you want to catch us up on comments there, Dylan? Sure. Um, I don't know where we left off. I kind of got absorbed in the last world. I think we were just where Juice is commenting. I think that's oh, what we okay. haven't talked about yet. Juice says, love the shark birds. And uh, that one is backwards. You can see it if you play space into the mushroom and look back. Sneaky map makers. Ah. Oh, the bug. Oh. Wow. That Thank does you. get real Thank sneaky, you. then. <laughs> cool. Sorry, I'm just changing. Fits in. Yeah, I'm just changing <laughs> avatars because I feel like this one is like such a perfect fit for this world. Mm. Um, Griffin? That I oh, well, to Dylan, you need to ride on Skype. Griffin. Oh, yeah, that'll make him feel great. <laughs> <laughs> So this world, um, I just thought was like really, really, really pretty. Um, it's got a great atmosphere, and I really love the like the mist and everything. So I'll let you guys experience it for yourselves. We just have to walk down this pathway. Um, Did we introduce this one yet? Nope, I forgot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hold on, <laughs> I got distracted by. Okay. Uh, so this one is called Luna Alter Are Area. So Lunar Alter Area. And it's by a world creator called Totom. T-O-T-O-M. Um, yeah. And it is only piece for PC. Um, and uh, it's just very, very pretty. Um, so let's go. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Um, Okay, lead the way. I don't think I have my walk animations <laughs> turned on. <laughs> Is John riding me? Yep. <laughs> oh. This feels very magical. I like the way that the light beams are coming through the trees. And the jingle bells. And the jingle bells, <laughs> yep. It keeps the bears away. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome furry convention. <laughs> oh, how pretty. Oh, look at, oh that view. look at that. Wow. So picturesque. There's a uh, a uh, zoom background. Can someone take a picture of this <laughs> for my zoom? <laughs> with the griffin <laughs> flying into the distance. Nice. <laughs> oh, if only I could take pictures right now and then have you riding on the back. <laughs> it's a 
really, really great view. Nice. So when, oh. I, when I first oh, came into Disney wing. World... Oh, sorry, sweetie. Um... <laughs> When I first came in here, I was like, okay, well, that's, I mean, this is so gorgeous. That's got to be it, right? Like, this is the thing, right? Um, but if you wander, oh, can I gesture? Yeah, if you wander over that away, um, there's more. There's more. There's more to really? See. Huh. Nice. Let's go wander. I like the color palette of this world. Isn't it nice? Oh. Oh, What's wow, this? look at that. You know, I was just going to say, this kind of reminds me of WoW. Um, with the aesthetic. And then this just oh, yeah. adds directly right to that. Yeah. So I thought, like, man, these buildings look so nice and inviting with the way they're lit and, like, the glow from inside. And I thought, surely you can't go inside, right? You're oh, going to tell no, me we can? can? Oh, with a wow. feast, and there's a feast. Isn't this great? <laughs> nice. Uh, I think we can go upstairs. Oh. Oh, these are the the bedrooms. Interesting. They just have like low walls dividing them. I wonder if that was like a common thing. Just like dividers. What's that you got there, Dylan? Huh. Uh, I don't know. Area report? Oh, oh, cool. It's in Japanese. I'm not sure what it says, but that's cool. The tower. Oh, whoa. How did that happen? I'm going to become a more appropriate size for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is just a really, it's very pretty in here. So if we go back outside, what's scary? Your, your eyes are the <laughs> only thing that's lit right now in that. <laughs> oh, very creepy. Scary. In this world, it's perfect, actually. Very creepy. It's Loving great. it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> we'll come, come down here again. And we'll head back out the door. Huh? And there's a couple other buildings you can go into. Um, <laughs> just still in jingling. I found something. Can you click it? It has yeah. question marks. Oh, it has question marks. You're right. You can you can collect it. It looks like. Oh, and it's I global. have no idea what that is. You collect it globally. Nice. Okay. Might I say oh. I always love it when you can collect things globally. <laughs> yeah. Is this a is it a little side quest? Do we have to collect yeah. all the things? Maybe. <laughs> Let the collection spree begin. Can we go in here too? Oops. Maybe if we go up the stairs? Not sure. Yeah, you can. Oh, yep. Oh, wow. This is a lot bigger than it was than it looked from the outside. Yeah. <laughs> May I just say, if you were like a writer and you were like really kind of feeling tired of your writing space it would be so fun if you could just like bring your desktop into vr and just come in here right and just sit at that desk back there yeah. or right up here in this little just... loft <laughs> you could just sit and look out the window at the beautiful mist dylan can you get in the cage <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember how to make a face at you with this avatar it's been a while since i've <laughs> to do that <laughs> I don't think I can it's all colliders oh okay unless if I can go oh I can go through the colliders right <laughs> happy now uh, 
I'd be happier if you fit better. It's good. <laughs> That's pretty good, I'd say. If I was the little one, I would fit better. If you're the little one, then you just fit through the bars. <laughs> you just walk right Maybe. Out. Let's see. Oh, dear. And here we have our tiny captive uh, festive deer. Little hob deer. I'm a hob deer. <laughs> oh. Yep, you fit in through the bars. <laughs> there we go. So basically this is a, a cage of your own choosing at this point. You could just maneuver <laughs> your antlers out. You, you could get out. It keeps everyone else out, <laughs> not keeps them in. It keeps them <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Some weird hungry griffin trying to eat you. No. Oh, I keep colliding <laughs> on something. <laughs> no. So there's another area that I want to show you before we move on. So let's pop okay. out here. Oh, Dylan fell through the floor. That's possible? Cool. Ah. Oh, that's a long, ominous pathway. Yeah, so I'd offer to give you both a ride, but I don't think I can, so uh, what do you, mean do you, you don't want think to sit you on can. me, Dylan? <laughs> I don't know, can you both sit on me? Oh, yeah. both of us. Uh, no. Okay. There's okay. only one seat. You guys have to do it like exactly the same time, don't you? That would probably be hard. Oh. That's okay. Okay, John, follow us this way. Just follow the jingling. <laughs> you okay up there? Just closing your eyes? Yep. Squinting. Another bridge. <laughs> Going to the right? Yeah. Not on the path? Didn't we come from that direction? You'll see. Okay. Oh. Taking a shortcut. Okay. Oh, it's like a Stonehenge. Are we going to cast a spell? One? Thanks. I want to cast Magic Missile. Are there any more sigils? To attack the darkness. <laughs> it's very possible that the world is full of sigils. I, uh, I don't know. It seems, just seems very plausible. I haven't seen any more. Have I you? Just thought, I just thought this area was so pretty. No, I haven't. This is really pretty. The colors, the it sky. So like, I haven't shown the sky yet, but look at that. I guess I'll take us to the next place. Oh, this is it? Um, there's one more, I think. I should know. Wow. I'm making the stream, but. Oh, look at those god rays over yeah. there. Wow. No, oh, that's a lie. There's. Oh, and they're moving. They, they are dynamic. They shift. Hold on. Um. Joey says, why cast magic missile if there's no enemy to attack? <laughs> you get it. You know the one. <laughs> I'm attacking the darkness. <laughs> oh, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? How do we get up there? <laughs> I, don't <laughs> can. I don't think we can get there. Oh. Griffin cheating, Griffin cheating. Okay, I'll come Do down. Do you need to take us up there? Here. I don't know. Can you get on? Okay, I'm on. Okay, I will. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. <laughs> Delt's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. We busted it. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> oh, I will have to wait for the invite then. Mm, we try. <laughs> well, maybe we should explore this way while we're waiting. Let's go. Oh. Nice. Man, you could this would totally be a great place for like D and D LARPing. Yeah, I wonder if anyone uses this for RP. Please tell me if you are watching this, uh, what some great LARPing worlds are. If this is one of them, or if this would be one of them. You're such a quick little one. <laughs> Move fast. Oh, there's the invite. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so anyone still watching, if uh, you didn't catch it, uh, I just got full body tracking. Uh, uh, before now, I've always been using the, uh, the Rift or the Quest. But now I switched over to the index and uh, with full body tracking. And now I can dance. <laughs> Doesn't it feel so neat to be able to like move the lower half of your body in VR? I like that I can Pretty shake my butt. I think that's the thing everyone loves. The first time they get full body tracking is to shake at their butt. It's true. It's true. <laughs> first, you gotta lift your feet. You gotta shake your butt. Just like, like learning how to dance. Oh no. Joey, Joey asks, how's the switch over to index and full body? Um. So streaming wise, it is a, a new environment and had to get used to a few things, set things up differently. But, uh. Mostly it's been uh, pretty darn smooth, I'd say. Um, nice. One of the things I've been telling everyone is that what I like about the index is while I feel the colors are not as vibrant as on a quest, it is a lot brighter and easier to customize. So that way its colors pop better and everything is clearer because of it. So I'm, I'm very happy with it. Are you running on like 120 hertz like you did on the... Yeah. Or... Nice. Which I'm is still nice. at 90, it's... but maybe when I put my new graphics card in, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. It's good. I'll grant on... So let me introduce... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, Jeff. you go ahead. Sorry? I was going to give my frame rate, but... <laughs> it's... Oh, okay. It's fluctuating. What, it, what is John's frame rate? It's fluctuating. I'm getting okay. 60 right now, but that's also because I'm running 60. the okay. streaming software. Right. Running the stream. Fair enough. Well, let me introduce this world. Um, it is called Biome Conservatory, and it might be Biome with a zero in it. So B-I-0-O-M-E. Uh, it's right up there on the wall. You can show it. Yeah. Oh, I guess it is a zero. Yeah. So this world is a digital conservatory created to be a sort of community garden. And you can oh. submit plant drawings to contribute to the garden oh, that's at cool. biome.com. Isn't oh, that cool? Drawings. So these are, oh yeah, they're yeah. two-dimensional. Isn't this wonderful? So you can see that it, they're, they are 3D, but they had the 2D cartoon aesthetic, which I, I love that. It's uh, So that way you can easily just create a drawing of a plant and submit it. And sorry, who is this world by? I don't think I mentioned that, did I? I'm doing good today. <laughs> oh, it's by a stack of paper. <laughs> That's a great user Check name. Check out this watering can. A stack of paper. Uh, oh, lovely. Look at that. That's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love how we've got like water plants in the water here and um, once you come in here it is like really really neat there's three wow. different domes yeah it's way bigger than I thought it would be it's huge eh 
There's a lot Ooh, of different was plants this in one here. Quest? Oh gosh, oh, good question. <laughs> I forgot to do everything <laughs> in the introduction. <laughs> yes, it is. This one is quest compatible. I yes. noticed on the website that there was also a web VR version. Interestingly. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So you can wander around and check it out in web VR. That's neat. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that before. They're painting the roses red. They're painting the roses. I oh, I'm gonna get struck if I. Can. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, it's about swimming. Nice. For the swimming enthusiasts among you, you can jump in the water and swim in it, and it splashes. Splashy. It makes a splash noise when you jump in. Okay. Well, let's uh, <laughs> let's go try this. Whoop. Don't forget to turn your world volume up. Yep. Uh. Go, go. Oh. And then, oh, yeah, you got some, some buoyancy. Ah. It's pretty great. <laughs> Lovely swimming. Lovely. Does your joystick work as navigation? Because mine doesn't. Uh, mine was. Mine is. Um, hmm. <laughs> Mine's not. <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Stuck on a yeah, collider. We, we basically, maybe we should show both sides of the dome here. Um, on the other two little ones, and then we'll climb up the middle. Okay. All right. So we've got all these really neat plants, some of which almost look like they were even drawn on paper. Huh. Like these beautiful ones here, they almost look like... Yeah, oh, yeah they were drawn it does on paper, like and then, like, is a camera yeah. to bring them in? You, it almost looks so. like it has that Let's rough see. edges of, of like, digital cropping. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant. Hey, plant. Oh, there's more. All over the dome area. So I think this one, oh, I, these ones are faces, <laughs> little cat faces. I think this one is, um, they're little cat faces. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> nice. I think this one is more tropical plants, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Well, this is a beautiful world to just come oh, and relax in. Oh, turned to zero. Nifty. Whoa. Sorry yeah, if I interrupted those. anyone. My voice is about turned down to zero somehow. Oh, uh, Dylan, what are the little mm, white figures called in Prin Princess Mononoke? Oh, I'm blanking. But they look, it looks like they belong here too. Like we should see them here. Yeah. John, you'll love this. There's colliders on these big plants. <gasps> Jumping. So there's rocks you can climb up. There's a smaller rock over there. And then you can actually like get up onto these plants. <laughs> I can make it all the way up to the top. Made it. It looks like a hole in the bottom, but you don't fall through it. be able to see the, the dome from the outside and see how many beautiful plants are in there. Could you imagine if these made sound? So like uh, the small one would give a, uh, a high pitched tone and every time you went up, it would give a lower and lower pitch tone. Oh, that would be extremely fun. <laughs> John's like, I want musical plants. <laughs> Wee, I'm jumping down. So let's let's head all the way around here. Oh, these purple and blue plants are nice. <laughs> Very 
here you can see a list of the people who contributed uh, plant drawings to the world. Nice. Nice. And maybe you, if you got your plant drawings, they want them. Oh, <laughs> nice. And compost. And of course, everyone, and compost. separate your gar your refuse to your garbage, <laughs> compost, and recycling. Oh, these look hand drawn too. Yeah, are they great? Desert plants. So you can take a look at these edges and they just look like they they've been cut out, which is really great because it just advert like really sells the fact that these are drawings that people submitted. I love that. But even the digital ones like these are drawings too, obviously. Mm -hmm. And there's still work that has to go into this of that they didn't just cut the shape out and plop it in the world. They gave it three dimension with it. Totally. Yeah, Sorry. I kind of wonder like how people submit them. Um, like if they plan for the three dimensionality when they're submitting them or if the creators kind of adding that in. Practice. <laughs> that is a good question. Okay, are you guys ready to climb to the top? Let's do it. Oh, in the other. Yeah. yeah. Also, there's two paths do, you can do, take. Do, do. Oh. Oh. Okay. You guys can keep going. Oh, so normally when I do the stream, I'm sitting down. This time, I'm standing up because now it's full body tracking. It is a lot uh, harder to be standing for this long. <laughs> like you see Dylan, who's actually sitting and he's using play space mover. Ooh, ooh look at this. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, this is pretty. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Oh, that's gorgeous. Have you seen that yet? Cat. I still love the cat. The cat plants. That's <laughs> you said there was a cat? What? Oh. The oh, cat. oh thing about the cat plants. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. If that was a real plant, I'd totally want those. Complete with scowl. Oh, this is lovely. Wow. Nice. This almost reminds me of that uh, one garden world that we went to where Kevin was sliding down the water. If you remember that. Yeah, I remember that. It has that. a similar shape. With like kind of a rounded garden. Oh. Well, there's a clear path happening here. We've got to follow and see where it leads. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, this goes up. Oh, there's no colliders on these. You can't go up. Where'd they go? Did they start going up? Yeah. Oh, yep. There they are. There's a good jump height in this world, too. Cake. Cake? Cakey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're just commenting uh, that we were going to take a sip of our drinks if you were looking around over there. Oh, which is lovely. Good. No time. Go. 
Oh, another platform. Wow. Wow. Just it's like really layers nice. and layers nice and layers. Yeah. Kind of makes you want to draw a plant, eh? Yeah. I want to contribute. Yeah. So nice. Hollow and nice. Well, we made it to the top. Nice. Oh, wait. Can we jump down here's, this? Here's the part. You sure can. Yep. You sure can jump down that. So, when you're ready. Okay. Feel free. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> Very satisfying splash. <laughs> now we just have to get out of the water again. Welcome to the stairs. My <laughs> stick is working. Is yours working now, Joy? Yeah, mine's working now. Okay. Maybe I was getting caught on colliders before. Oh, maybe. Ugh. I'm going to do, use do. my joystick and do, do. one hand. How is someone not the shark from last week? Of which, <laughs> if you missed last week's stream, we went to a juice world where we found these awesome baby shark avatars that are fluffy and so cute. All right, I will let you two chat. For I was playing with the, the shark avatar before we started because that's what I was last. So I loaded back in as a <laughs> little fluffy shark. When I first loaded, I was like, why am I so small? Um, then I saw the fluff. <laughs> But I was playing with like um, the gestures, so I could like like wave my little fins. Just wave the flippers. One at a time. Like yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then squish. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. So. Uh, we'll see if we can post the details on where you can send your dr plant drawings to get them submitted into the world. And like what was mentioned, there's a web platform that you can go in to experience that world as well. Nice. Oh. Probably can't have the world music so here. So actually, I oh. think maybe that the world music here might be okay. Yeah? Because the world background music and the title logo were both made by the same person, like oh. the logo for this world. So okay. It's possible that this music is actually okay. made for this world. So I think you can probably turn it up. Which is nice, because it's very beautiful music. And nice oh, this panel is not showing up. Hold on, sorry. Gotta turn the UI layer. And I'll introduce this, this world as well while we're here. So, this world is called Project Wab Wabi Sabi. It's a pretty terrible pronunciation. Is that no, right? that was right. Is that right? Okay. Yep. And it's by Mikinel. M I K I N E L. Um. Yeah, and it's just a really beautiful world uh, with some beautiful bamboo gardens and stuff that I thought would be a lovely place for us to to finish up today. So, so yeah. Let's. Oh, uh, wait, let me check. Is it quest compatible? I don't know. No, this one's PC only as well. If you're a PC user or you have quest with Link. So the user's name is Mikineru. Mikineru? Yeah. Oh, okay. They That's what have it is. also in Japanese. Perfect. Yeah. I might let John. <laughs> Maybe John, if you want to walk first, so people can get oh. a feel for it without Dylan and I floating ominously. What a nice entryway. Isn't this beautiful. I love this. This is like that uh, that other world we visited, where it's the bamboo grove. <laughs> 
that you walk through. Wow. Oh, this world! I've been wanting to come here. Yes. Got some nice evening water and lighting. Oh, that's beautiful. Fireflies. Still on a fruits of the fireflies. <laughs> They're good fireflies. So I just love this. You like walk into the, the building and then there's this beautiful round window slash doorway here um, and you can see into the garden and uh, but yeah look at this beautiful little garden in here oh wow so nice I really wish we had a botanical gardens here with Japanese gardens yeah me too be great. I can hear the creek. Oh, and there's another bamboo grove path over there. Oh, this is a great world for some exploration. Oh, and they've got like a nice view of the forest outside too. Got a video screen and your pens. And of course a shark. Place to hang your kimono. I'm distracted. He's showing it off. I don't know if our voices carry very far in this world. No, no not too so. far. And John, you can actually go through this oh. door even though, yeah, even though it's closed. Probably for privacy. There's a oh, hot, hot springs. springs. And John, if, you're, if you are talking, we can't hear you. Maybe you're just being quiet because the what? music. Oh, I was muted. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't hear you. I was like, John is giving the quietest tour I have ever seen him give. <laughs> He's <laughs> being so quiet. I guess, just oh, that's around. why you weren't commenting to all my things. Like, this is reminds me of the bamboo grove world that we visited that one time. They were walking through. Mm. Um... <laughs> That's probably why we weren't commenting. Yep, because we couldn't hear you. But this is like a whole other level of getting, like having this beautiful house, these paths, these hot springs, the other secluded paths. This is a really beautiful place to come and relax. The garden in the middle of the building. Uh, so nice. Oh, yeah. And I wasn't sure, John, if you would feel like you'd like to hang out in the hot tub or if you'd want to go somewhere where you can actually sit on the floor as a hot dog, since you can sit on the floor as a hot dog now. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting in the hot tub now. Oh, he's actually sitting. Look at him yeah. go. His leggies. And he can stick his toes out the water Ooh. if he's lucky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, should I go over the worlds that we visited today uh, quickly? Yeah. You know what? We're going to close it off here. This is a good okay. place to do so it. So we started off. Let, let, sorry. Let yeah, me just go adjust place. the camera. <laughs> okay. We'll sit in the nice hot tub. Oh, okie dokie. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh. oh, that's good. Ah, we did so a lot refreshing. of walking today. <laughs> I'm used to sitting all, all right. the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're used to sitting when we stream, yeah. How was Pretty that different for when you? you have to stand for a couple hours, eh? Oh yeah, your legs hurt. <laughs> your back hurts. It's a good, it's a good workout stream, and when you got to stand, yeah, that's great. 
So, uh, we started off today in the conservatory by Toad Storm. Then we went to the Polygonia Forest of Eshinogi by Shrimp Frog, which is where we're taking pictures of all the animals. Then we went to Luna Altar Area by Totem. Then we were at the Biome Conservatory by a stack of paper. Oh, that's extra funny that they're drawn plants and the person's name <laughs> oh. is a stack of paper. Oh, nice. That's so funny. <laughs> and then we are in Project Wabi Sabi at the moment um, by, uh, Dylan pronounced the name the best, but. Uh, Mikineru? Mikineru. Or the VR chat name in, in English is M-I-K-I-N-E-L. Yeah, it's almost the exact yeah. same. It's just the N E L is Nedu. Or like which would be Nell, the closest to Nell. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. John can cross his hot dog legs. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Very nice. Gosh, I yeah. love going into nature worlds in VR chat because I really like being around plants. Oh yeah. And like lots of different types of plants. And there are times that we come into VR just to relax and just to sit here, listen to the gentle music and de-stress amongst the plants, amongst these awesome environments here. This is nice, serene music right now. And th that's what I like about this world is like you have your options. You have a nice walk up to this that's very gentle. And it's like your entryway into calmness and you enter the garden to bring in the wow and then you just come knowing that you can relax here it's one of those parts of um that kind of they talk about in design work is how do you think about the journey that you're taking someone through to prepare them for the destination mm. right then they did a there was actually a good number of worlds that we went to like biome i think mm -hmm. had a had that good journey to the destination as well and i think there's even parts of this world that we didn't see so oh, apologies God, to the world creator we just got so interested in sitting in this yeah i noticed tub. you could like go upstairs and stuff too well Seems we can't like always show everything for anything it's great we have to let you <laughs> come and check out some of these worlds give you something to look at as well and to discover for it's yourselves true. It's true. We all come yeah, to these Yeah, I had a wonderful for... time today. I thought they Amazing. were so pretty. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's so many beautiful different types of nature and, and, uh, and you know, kind of different interpretations of, of, you know, from really realistic to stylized to, like, you know, what was reminding John of World of Warcraft, the kind of the brightly colored <laughs> grass. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's just so wonderful to see people's hard work that they've put into making these worlds so we can relax and hang out in them. So thank you to all the world creators uh, whose worlds we visited today. And uh, yeah, it was really nice and relaxing. I had a fun time. And for anyone who has, hasn't has yet got to experience full body tracking, or if you're contemplating it, I will say it is very easy to set up. Um, this is actually, my very first time in full body tracking. I tried doing it last night, but my sensors died, so I couldn't really uh, get it set up and to test it. But it was very simple, very easy. It, I didn't think it would provide as much fun as it does, but it really does uh, change your immersion level in this. And I re can really appreciate it. Like right now, being able to sit cross-legged in this lets me know that I am really lying in a bath here. Um, that I'm not just squatting in it. Um. <laughs> John's not a squatter anymore. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, I'm so glad to hear that you're enjoying it. It's it's really fun to watch you be in the in avatars in full body. I'm I'm so excited that we get to see your little happy dances now. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of extra fun and enjoyment for the rest of us so and if you would like to great. learn more about uh i'm using three tracker full body tracking right now 
So two on my feet, one on my waist, and then my controls and my head. Um, but if you look uh, under Virtual Dance Academy and look at, uh, under Dust Bunny, they are using 11 point tracking for their dance moves. So they can do like full belly dancing with absolute mm -hmm. accuracy in VR chat. Yeah, you can check out some of her like full videos of like um of a dance like she'll do a dance on her own and it's quite amazing to see how much movement you can get i want it <laughs> <laughs> don't just, like i want them i want all the extra trackers just do, uh, sketch trackers. <laughs> want to do a body roll <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's so much it's so much fun i mean we're so lucky to have access to this technology and i hope in the future yes. that it becomes more affordable and more accessible uh, for people because it's just a delight so and i'm so happy to have john be able to turn his head and lift his leggies <laughs> it's, it's delightful later we'll go find him an avatar with a giant tail so he can shake it <laughs> yay gotta shake Good. my tail yay. okay oh is he muted again he am i muted talking. there we go it's index has <laughs> new button mappings that i'm not used to i disabled this button on my quest well, I needed to save a Oh, you did? Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't like one button muting. It's too easy to turn off. And really? I do. Yeah, I like to. Oh. Yeah, I like to be a conscious. Uh, open up the menu, turn it on. And off. Otherwise, I'll do it accidentally oh. way too often. Scout and I need to like have it be quick to turn on and off because we're in the same room. So we have to try and like one person turn off a mute while the other person's talking, so we don't there. echo back. There. Well, I believe that's it for this week. As we're ending this stream in a nice, relaxing hot spring, I think we're going to probably hang here for a little bit. But we're going to sign off for this week. And we'll see you all next week for some more shenanigans. So... Joey J. Rue says, oh, uh, yeah, this chats. is, oh, sorry, I'm interrupting you. Jo okay. Joey J. Rue says, this is a calming place to relax. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We've never been here before tonight, so mm -hmm. it's really, really nice. I, I, I popped my head in just to see if it was good for the stream, and I thought, yep, it's great, but I didn't know there was a, um, a, a hot springs in here, so it's wonderful. Any other further chats? <laughs> I think I think we're good for now. Oh, oh one more came in. You want to read that one, Dylan? Uh, Joy says, thanks for the stream today, everyone. It was great to watch. Thanks for joining us, <laughs> You're most Joey. Thanks Joey. for joining. Thanks for joining yeah, Juice. Thanks for, thanks for joining here. Jenny. Uh, it was great having you all and taking this journey with us. And we'll see you on our next journey next week. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss it. Signing off, we have... Scout. Good night, everybody. I hope you have a good evening and keep that relaxing vibes going. It was really fun. Dylan. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a really relaxing evening, if it's evening where you are. <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> I'm still getting this. And me, John. You two are going to scooch in. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Now, where's my button? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>